Real quick, before we get into the video, if you have not yet, the streamer awards are going on and it would really mean a lot to me if you could nominate me for Hidden Gem and maybe even Rising Star, but more importantly, Hidden Gem. Uh, it would really mean the world to me. I'll leave a link uh, below in the comments and in the description. And yeah, that's about it. Nominations close today. So get to it if you haven't yet, please. And thank you. Now to the video. Speaking of anime, why anime hurts to watch? Chat, it hurts to watch anime. So I have a confession to make. So I know this might come as a shock to a lot of you, but statistically oh no. and undeniably, I am what the kids call an old man. No. In these long 20- No! Don't say it so. seven years I've been on Earth, I've seen a lot of things and done a lot of things. And because I didn't make a lot of friends in middle school, uh, Oh no. No. A lot of that time on the, in the 27 years was spent on the internet. I was there for the Badger song. I was there for- Oh. I remember when they did a- a Timo Badger song parody. Homestar Runner. I was there for the I don't know that one. Rage Com yeah, the Rage if Comics. I started putting lay in front of sentences, you guys would No! <laughs> I'm old! I have no clue what that means, but it used to be the peak of comedy. I remember it used to be. the meme out loud at the high school lunch table made you a social pariah. That shit was not cool. Suddenly, internet things were cool in a mainstream way. And I was happy for that, because I could be myself without people making fun of me, except for one singular aspect. And this was the fact that, despite oh originally being verbal poison, the word anime slowly became one of the most well-respected art forms in the American hearts. That is hard for me. Mm. That is hard for me to wrap my head around. It's not like I don't like cartoons. I specifically love cartoons. I'm wearing a grommet shirt right now. I only okay. consume cartoons. That's my vibe. Sure. The guy who corners you at a house party and tells you that Smiling Friends is going to change the face of adult animation. Oh my god, it's fucking Smiling Friends. Did you all watch Smiling Friends? Bro, that show's a trip. Bro, what the fuck is even going on in Smiling Friends? It's something about anime, dude. It's just not clicking with me. Maybe it's because I was born in a post-9-11 society, and if it's not American, it's not good enough for me. And that's not correct. I love, what the I love fuck? Uh, Lynch chocolate. And the last thing I want to do is yuck anyone's yum, okay? This isn't going to be a point and laugh, make fun of the kid who buys a body pillow at a convention type video. I hope... I, I, I kind of lose track during this script. But what I'm trying to do in this video is to preemptively defend myself against the heat mm -hmm. I'm going to get when people realize that I actually don't like whatever the hell this is. So my, is that my Jojo? sweet little tuglets, please be gentle with me while I state my case that uh, anime at the very least is a hard watch for somebody like me. Because he doesn't like anime. That's for because maybe someone else out there is being uh, bombarded by a sea of anime memes and enjoyers and they just need someone to hold on to as the ship sinks and you can hold on to me because I also don't understand what's going on anymore. And it's so crazy because I've said some wild stuff on this channel but I'm so confident this is the video that's going to push uh, the fan base over the edge and start hating me. I've already bought the ship yeah. so I might as well make the bed but fuck. So let's yeah. start with a brief yeah. history. In Japan, anime is just the word for animation. It's uh, yeah. A lot of people don't understand that concept. It's just Japanese animation. The anime aesthetic yeah. Americans are most familiar with today was developed in the 19th 1960s by Osamu Tezuka in his series Astro Boy. Although a lot of Americans don't know anything about the show, everyone can identify this little dude. And they, they hey. might know his name, but at least he has some staying power. Astro Boy was syndicated in the US on NBC from 1963 to 1965. And even though we didn't call it anime at the time, this was the entry point into American culture. When the VHS came along, important videos like Akira Oops, sorry. started getting cult classic status, paving the way for the explosion of anime on cable. It's also worth noting that in Akira, the Akira slide happens, and that uh, piece of cinematography has been uh, parodied. Oh. Or Oh! Every American animated show. Oh! Oh! That's okay. sick. Worth mentioning. I don't like anime, but that's a cool fact. In 1990, I feel like he likes anime. Seven Cartoon Network's Toonami programming block really fucking brought anime into the American mainstream, introducing young kids like me, but not me, to Sailor Moon, Moon, Dragon Ball Z, and Gundam Wing. And I know in a prior you video, I touched on this programming block, but it's hard to understate just how important Toonami was for the culture. Folks love to glaze on about the the golden age of 2000s era television, when shows like The Sopranos, Digimon. The Wire, Mad Men, and Breaking Bad elevated the form of television. But bro, I found out the other day that Breaking Bad. Started in what, 2008? I sh thought that shit came out in 2016 or something! I didn't know Breaking Bad was going on for that long! What the hell? <coughs> that, that shit had me like, what? 
Yeah, let's... I only watched two seasons of it so far. I, I should continue watching it at one point. Anime's introduction to the Western mainstream culture did the same thing to viewers. Instead of the fast-paced ADD... I watched Dragon Ball Daima yesterday, the first three episodes. Haven't watched the fourth one. Compared to, like, um, Dragon Ball Super, I didn't watch Super because that shit's way too cumulated for me. It's, like, way too much going on, man. Way too much going on. But Dragon Ball Daima happens chronologically before Dragon Ball Super. It's actually pretty good. I actually like Daima so far. They almost started sucking right after Namek Saga, in my opinion. Well, you'll be happy. This is before that, <laughs> I think. It's right after the Majin Buu Saga. It happens after the Majin Buu Saga. Well, after the Kid Buu Saga, anyway. After they defeated Buu. Kitsu, lol. What? I'm a weep. Now it sucks much after Boo. Well, there you go. There you go. I said. Daima? Before? I don't know what the, the, the Namek saga is, man. I don't fucking know. Say so yeah, Namek Android Cell, then Boo is the other. What the fuck happened with the Namek saga? I don't fucking know what they were called, man. I remember the androids and Cell and Boo. I don't fucking know what Namek is. I haven't born a weep and I'll die as one. <laughs> Bro, the Cell Saga is fucking hype. The Cell Saga was so good. I remember. I remember. Elementary school. Whenever I am home, me and my family, me and my siblings and my mom, not my stepfather, we're all just waiting for Dragon Ball to come on PC. PC TV. You like the Soul Saga? Of course, bro! Peak childhood! Fucking peak childhood! What the fuck is Nomic Andrew? Bro, I don't remember. Bro, it's. It, I watched it during my childhood, okay? I was a teeny tiny baby when all that shit was coming out. Not a real week. Shut the fuck up. Inducing standalone episodes of shows like Ed, Ed, and Eddie or the Powerpuff Girls. Anime offered more in-depth storytelling and character development. You'd actually have to pay attention to figure out what the hell is going on. Even anime for younger audiences had continuity and richness that was not present in American uh, car cartoons. Whatever. And it seemed to inspire modern cartoons into having through lines like uh, Adventure Time and Fiona and Cake. That, that was so goddamn good. Oh yeah, I heard about this one. Was that actually one good? Like, I only watched a handful of episodes of Adventure Time and like the final or finale about it. Make more Fiona and Cake. But so much of the anime that was celebrated in the 90s nice, and the early right. 2000s was kid focused. For example, Pokemon was everywhere, is still everywhere. <laughs> it basically took over the world. <laughs> Have you guys started playing uh, the TGC, uh, TCG Pocket game? I downloaded it. <laughs> I downloaded it to see what the hype is about, and goddamn, I don't like those shiny cards. <laughs> World of anime, video games, and tabletop games. Also, speaking, speaking of Pokemon cards, I have no money. It's free. The game is free. You don't need to pay for it. You can. You don't need to. Um. Also, in January slash February, the new Pokemon. Cards that are releasing are uh, Eevee themed, and I think I'm finally gonna get into Pokemon cards. <laughs> All at once. It honestly got to the point where I feel like a lot of people forget that Pokemon started as an anime itself. Most people think it's a video game or just a silly introduction to a gambling. No, most people think it's a, an anime. What do you mean? It's the other way around. And the success of Pokemon meant we were inundated with more potential profit drivers like Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh. And I don't remember Spunny? Digimon at oh, all yeah. except for the opening lines of the theme song that go Digimon, Digital. <laughs> that opening is so cringe. That opening is so cringe. You know what opening is good? The Japanese one and the German one. Leb deine Traum, der never war. Geh deinen Weg, stelle dich der Gefahr. Alles was wichtig ist, was du erkennen, wenn die Zeit gekommen ist. Ja, greif nach den Sternen, du bist bereit. Glaub an dich, bald ist es soweit. Wir werden bei dir sein. Sei bereit. Ah. 
That was a good one. That was a good song. Digimon, Digimon, like, they reuse this fucking English song in every fucking season. Monsters, Digimon are the I hate it. I remember from it, but that does mean I've it's seen so it bad. Anyways, the market felt immediately oversaturated with this kind of shit. And at that young sure. age, I was more interested in sneaking into... Deek, 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 Digimon, Digital Monsters, Mads! Digimon are the champions. Twist this bolts. The living room when my parents were watching TV and seeing things like South Park in The Simpsons. I wasn't interested in children cartoons, especially anime cartoons. So I didn't have the wherewithal to look out over the horizon and see all the anime that was flooding in. And my god. Bro, fucking Inuyasha. Fucking Inuyasha, bro. Ranma? What? How do you pronounce it in English? I don't know. Ranma. In German, it's Ranma ein Halb. Ranma half? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that one. Run my half. Like, they're remaking it. I love it. I love the remake. Like, the remake is... So good. I love it. I hope they're remaking the uh, Inuyasha at one point now, too. Can we watch Dinosaur King? Bro, I have actually seen that on TV. <laughs> God, was it flooding in? Just because I didn't want it didn't mean Americans wanted to stop consuming it because there is a fucking anime for every day of the year. Even though American marketing teams might spend their resources promoting merchandise-friendly kids shows, there are actually a ton of anime genres. Hard to know where to start. As someone who doesn't watch anime, this is a big barrier to entry. I was able to break anime down into five categories that correlate with its intended demographics. And once again, okay. I want you to know that I didn't know anything about anime before this video, and I just Lies. I research so the video made sense. I do not give a Stop shit about anime. I want to make that clear. Hey, you want to see something Stop crazy? Lying. Type in your full legal name in Google, and then after that, how about no address or phone number? And just peruse throughout all the public information that you did not realize was right for the picking how from anyone with uh, a half a brain cell. I've put my name into Google before my entire name, right? Nothing comes up. <laughs> I am undercover. So that's a bummer, but who is behind this insane use of personal information for that's profit? Right, Why, yeah. it's our old friends, data brokers, of course. They're these super awesome people who obtain your personal information as well as your friends and family and then put it up on a website and then sell that Yay! information for profit. And if you have a credit Yay! card, you can get this information. Stalker, doxer, uh, uh, people stealing your identity. Just the worst type Yay! of people doing the worst type of things. Why is this legal? I have no idea, but it is. Yippee. In order to combat Yippee! this, you can go to each individual website and the hundreds of them and see if they'll take your information down and then wait weeks for them to reply to you if they reply to you at all. Or you can Papa! do what I do and Yippee! use Delete Me. I was using uh, Delete, delete me? me. Hopefully just in game. They even reached out to me, like even before I knew they had an advertising. I use this, make me invisible you. online. Oh, so you can test for it? Dude, nice. So when I got the call, I was like, Sh yeah, sure. I mean, I'm already using you. I'll, I'll advertise you. As you can see, I've been using them for almost a year and I am genuinely satisfied with the products that they deliver. Hey, 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 yo, delete me if you, if you want to hit me up for this one. My, you know, my business email is available everywhere. Hit me up. Hit me up. Delete me takes the laborious job of reaching out to each individual data broker <laughs> with your personal information and does their best to scrape it off the internet. This gives you peace of mind from any of the creeps online that might want to harm you physically or financially because you had a bad take on Twitter. They give you several reports oh throughout the year God. saying, hey, look at all the stuff we... I, I have so many things to say about bad tech on Twitter, but the internet I digress. You. And if you find something on the internet that you want taken down, they also have a service where you just say, uh, here's the website, figure it out, and they do it for you. They work tirelessly over several months to get things done, and they don't stop working because also data brokers don't stop working, and they gotta be ahead of the curve all the time. So head to joindeleteme.com backslash big tug, and also use promo code big tug for 20% off US consumer plans. And no. you get to see what Delete Me might 30%. have to offer for you. Delete Me. Deleting another reason to hate the internet. Uh, first, we got Kamo. <laughs> which is for real young viewers like generally under 12 years old then we got shonen animes which is aimed shonen, at teenage boys yeah. with shows like dragon ball z like that kind of anime yeah. and shonen's yeah. have a counterpart called shoujo which is aimed at teenage girls with shows like yeah. sailor moon and then we have Se yes. seinen and jo Josie. i'm trying here they're aimed at adult men and women respectively but then you have like the genre of the show itself you have the mech shows yeah, yeah, which yeah. are like giant robot shows where people climb into giant robots and fight things a category of anime which shocks me because how many stories can you write about climbing into robots and fighting people i a lot. Like that well would run dry. Oh my How many stories can you write about inv aliens invading America? A lot of them. Same concept. Oh God, is Attack on Titan a mecha anime? Oh my. Nine. 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 A 
absolutely not. Okay, that makes, oh, I guess there's a lot of avenues they can go down with that. I've watched one anime and it's Attack on Titan. I want to make that clear. It's the only one I've ever watched. My roommate made me watch it. It was pretty good, but whatever. Then we have Spokom. <laughs> Never watched anime, Monday, by the way. Uh, specifically sport focused anime. It's usually like a comedy coming of age. Wait till he sees a A lot of volleyball going on in Japan. I didn't know about that. And then there's hyper specific genres like this one, is Isekai. And this is when characters oh, here we die go. and then they are reincarnated into another world. Uh, or just get transported over. They don't necessarily need to die. And once again, that seems like a one-off plot, but there's so many of these motherfuckers and they keep making stories about people dying. These genres can blend into one another. They can parody themselves. It just, mm -hmm. it gets really yeah. blurred after a while, which leads to animes yeah. making fun of animes themselves, like Jojo, Bizarre Circus, Gintama. and uh, whatever that, the fucking One Punch Man. At least that's what I think is One Punch Man is a mo- shows. Oh, Jojo One Punch Man is fucking so good. To watch. It is a uh, salt on my senses. And then when a show is defined by its respective genre, we have the much bigger issue of the fact that a lot of these shows never end they keep going there's a million episodes one piece <laughs> for show you know how like the simpsons is still running despite the fact that we all wished it ended after the simpsons okay movie? but one piece actually is a good plot that it's following one piece actually has a plot that it's following there actually is a plot in one piece and it's pretty good <laughs> And The Simpsons is just random garbage. Well, a lot of the best animes become long-running series to little to no critical outcry. Toonami may have introduced uh, Gundam Wing to the American audiences, but the Gundam franchise has been around since 1979 and has spawned over Christ. 50 different TV shows. How? How are they doing that? And that's nothing compared to the going to soon. I heard about Sosa that too. Song. Originally a comic strip, the anime has been on oh, TV since 1969. It's the longest-running animated TV series in the world, featuring over 8,000 episodes. And apparently it's like a weird blend of... Uh, the Peanuts in Doctor Who? I don't know. It kind of looks like it. I had no clue what was going on. And then you have a show like One Piece, which is a movie itself for how fucking long that show is. So okay, but it's good, and it only has like 100 episodes of filler. So many people have told me I need to watch One Piece, and not only that, they tell me I have to watch the first 30 episodes before it gets interesting. What? Hey, let me get... You can watch the recap movie. You can watch the recap movie and easily skip 200, 200 episodes. Easily. Easily. Even more. There's like... They literally have a recap movie. Just watch the recap movie. Give you a it's all set up for the plot. It is, it is, it is, it is. 30 episodes of a show before it gets good. That kind of means it's a bad show. I, the people are gonna get Fuck pissed. off! That is a fucking ridiculous... <laughs> Listen, that shit came out in 1999 or something, man. It's, it's like... Just watch the recap movie. Watch the recap movie. Simple. Request. Sometimes it feels like the only way to get into anime is to make it the biggest part of your personality. Because for fuck's sake, where are you guys finding all this time? Between Rocket League and anxiety and Oh yeah, time, uh, time, I don't have any time. I, I, I don't do anything anymore. I don't have time. That's why I'm not done with One Piece. That's why I'm- Is Hexagon here? What episode are we on in One Piece? I don't know, like somewhere between 600 and 700, I believe. There, inducing Wikipedia rabbit holes. I do not have time to catch up on Dragon Ball, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, holes. Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Z, Kai, oh. Dragon Ball Super Super. GT isn't canon. <laughs> I remember GT, but GT isn't canon. Just to be fair, where's Exagon? Yeah, where's Exagon? Dragon Ball Super. I no, I, oh, no, I'm sorry, I had no time for that. I watched the Broly movie. The Broly movie is pretty fun. And Daima right now is set. Is good. He's actually gonna shut the fuck up. Dragon Ball Heroes. Hey, Dragon Ball Daikai or whatever the fuck that last one is. Dragon Ball Daima. Heroes 4. I don't have time to catch up on this shit. And it's not just a problem with anime. I mean, like I said, The Simpsons and like we have, you know, Law and Order, which has been going on forever. But with those shows, you don't have to focus up. It's the same shit every week. You tune in, nothing changes. You don't have to Yeah. What's the point of that? What's the point of that? I, like, if, sure, if you just want dumb stuff, and quick entertainment, yeah, sure, but that's completely two different genres and the like bro. To look up the plot of the show, what happened in the 80s to really understand what's happening nowadays. And I'll be honest, I've thought about jumping into anime several times. I'm not above this. Seems like I'm missing out on a whole category of media that seems super fun and people are very passionate about. And then I'll ask yeah. a friend, hey, which anime should I start with? And it, God forbid they say something coherent. They'll give you a list of 20 shows that are worth watching. Half of them only have one season after 20 years and the other half have 90 seasons. You have to watch all the episodes. Holy shit, what's, what's going, going on in the animation here? Bowl, and on the main page, there's more animes on there than grains of sand at the beach. It's all just uh, mentally taxing. It's a mentally taxing form of me. Here's a question. DBZ Broly or DBS Broly? <gasps> yeah, the original Broly, no. 
No, 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 not the original Broly, bro. The original Broly is fucking ass. A peak animation? I haven't gotten to peak animation yet. I have not gotten to peak animation yet, man. I watched whole One Piece with online friends. Took a bit less than a year to finish. Back then, over 900 episodes. Me and Exigon are watching, um... One Piece in, like... Phases. Like, there's phases where we just watch non-stop One Piece for some weeks, and then, then I need to fucking break for a little bit. Because, goddamn, we just finished an entire arc, which people finished over multiple years, you know? Yeah. Oh, and speaking of mentally taxing, let's talk about the mental tax of horny shit being on my TV screen when my mom walks in the room. Now, I'm not talking about Unlucky. a word that my editor might need to bleep, because I don't know how YouTube feels about me using that word. But when it comes to yeah. anime, the line between drawn porn and animated television is extremely blurry. Horny anime is a world under to itself it might need it it's called fan service for a reason <laughs> what arc are you on uh just finished um dress rosa just finished that we had the furry arc now but the start of the furry arc that's actually not the hentai yeah, yeah actually is different are you watching one piece it's a fan edit that removes unnecessary pauses flashbacks uh, nah, I don't need that. A deeper video it's okay. One point. But anime is full of hyper-sexualized characters Zoo arc, to yeah. an unbelievably uncomfortable extent. We're not talking tastefully sexy. The, the word tasteful has never been a, a before the war fan service. And it becomes incredibly problematic when you find- <laughs> What do you mean? Have you seen 2B? 2B is f tasteful. And yes, I can say 2B because there's a, a fucking Neo Tomato anime. Bro, the Neo Tomato fan service is hella tasteful. Yeah, that the majority of these girl characters dance around with half their clothes on are 16 years old. They're all teenagers, and I don't know why we're not fucking talking about that. Oh, it's a different culture, Tucker. You just don't understand it. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, how about if I said the word lolly? Yeah, I don't like that one. You got an argument for that, pimp? You gonna defend that? Because that's a real thing that shows up in anime sometimes without reason or warning. But it's Lollies are cute. Sexualizing lollies? Yeah, that's, that's not my cup of tea, man. That, that's, nah. Seems like giving an audience what they want sexually without warning is a big part of anime. And that little expression of gratitude towards the audience is known as fan service, if I haven't made that clear enough. Basically, fan service is like halfway through the last season of Breaking Bad, suddenly Skylar was wearing a bikini all the time. That It, it makes very little sense, but... <laughs> Maybe she would have been, like, a little bit more likable in that case. Maybe she would be a little bit more likable in that case, man. God damn, two seasons into Breaking Bad and I don't... F like, she's so... Ugh. The fans not like even it. then. Uh, does not drive the plot forward. It's just eye candy for the audience. And I'm not yes! judging people wanking it to drawings, but, you know. But somehow, fan service isn't even the most pervy part of anime. Like the show. What I is... want you to make a disgusted face and show me your underwear. Huh? <laughs> a real title, a real anime. You, uh, you, we can go to Crunchyroll and fucking watch it. Of course, panties aren't the only weird. One. Oh my god, he has no idea, man. Chat, do you know redo of a healer? Chat, do you know redo of a healer? Oh my god. He's got no idea. He's got no idea. <laughs> Unfortunately, bro, I watched the entire thing in one day with Exigon together. <sighs> I I don't know how that one is considered not the H word. <laughs> how is it? Because the story is actually really good. <laughs> The story of Reno of a Healer is actually really fucking good. <laughs> but goddamn! ...fetish that animes deal with. In my life as Inuka-san's dog, the protagonist... Oh my god, that one, that one is so disgusting. This, I, 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 I saw the clips from Asmongold seeing that shit, and I saw Giga talking about this, like... No thanks! This is disgusting! He was rescued by his crush. And for the rest of the series, he is simultaneously humiliated while being treated like a dog. While also being super turned on because he's hanging out with his crush. And for some- Yeah, this one I must say... Yeah... The- the judgment is right with this one. Reason? People don't Bro, deny it, this shit. They just let it pass. And then there's this show called Food Wars, Shigook, whatever, whatever. <gasps> Food Wars is good, though.
<laughs> Do not complain about food wars. So funny story, the author of Redo of the Healer made it because he knew it would do well so he could fund and get his other works approved. Oh my fucking god! I didn't watch the latest season or the last season of um, Food Wars because, I don't know, after season four, I think it felt like to me like, yay, the girl's now the school uh, president. Seems like a perfect way to end it. So yeah, I didn't watch that. Which is about students at an elite culinary school that face off it's so good, competitions. Though. That it sounds is so good. Enough, right? No, but every time they eat the food, they have orgasms. <laughs> All of them have food gasms. Look at that. What you gonna <laughs> What's so bad about oh, that? Shot. What the fuck is going on? And I know I'm You telling me you don't you don't <laughs> You telling me you don't get naked whenever you get eat good food? Cherry picking here. These are pretty extreme examples. Okay, I understand what I'm doing. But there's definitely little aspects of all this pervy shit sprinkled into anime. Every anime you see, they just fucking every once in a while an episode you just see tits, and I don't I don't appreciate that. When I'm trying, <gasps> is he <it> gay? <laughs> wait, wait, big talk. Are you gay? Wait, he doesn't appreciate tits. <laughs> he doesn't appreciate the tits! I'm trying to watch anime for the first time and I'm watching just a normal scene and all of a sudden... <sighs> Anymore. Stop putting horny things in anime for the love of Christ. And then there's the whole issue of anime being in a different language, which I, I should have started with that. That's a pretty big barrier to entry. Just like any niche interest, anime fans have some sort of infighting. And one of the biggest Oops. controversies in the community is sub versus dub debate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like most niche debates. The only time I don't mind dub is Dragon Ball. <laughs> I watched Ima with uh, Japanese. Um... Sub, right? Because English ain't out yet. But goddamn, can I not stand Goku having that screeching old lady's voice? Oh my god. Ghost story dub. That's true. True, 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 actually. True, actually. German AOT is also good. Ah, it's okay. I prefer the Japanese one. Sub will 99% oh, of the time be better because the Japanese are perfectionists. And um, on the Western countries, unfortunately, they don't really give that much of a fuck about, like, sounding amazing when dubbing anime, <laughs> unfortunately. Ghost Story Dub is peak. It is, it is. It really is. Cowboy Bebop. Oh my god. I keep saying that I haven't watched things. You guys are gonna hate me at one point. I have not seen Cowboy Be um, Bebop. I'm happy they... Uh, got the old voice of Kid Goku back. Oh, they did? Damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's a must watch. So I heard. So I heard. It is on my list, right? Yeah, it's on my list too. I, I gotta watch it at one point. I know I just never gotten around it. So mod apps are now open. Can't work for a fake weeb. You heard it here, YouTube! <laughs> You heard it there here, YouTube. are a lot of things that make anime worse. Summer Booble is not one of it. That's As if true. the authors did not know some skin equals more views, Jesus such basics. Jesus. <laughs> that man follow the fuck's sake. Is complicated and has no real correct answer, but yields deeply passionate opinions that spill over into strong hate for the other team. Kind of like GIF versus GIF, and it is GIF. We're not going to fight it. It is GIF. About this. I don't care what the creator of the file format said. He's a fucking idiot. But when it comes he to is. the sub versus dub debate, there's... It's graphic. GIF. Simple as. merit on each side of the argument. Sub this, chat, this is the scene. 
this is the scene that gets you hooked on One Piece. This is the scene. This is the fucking scene, man. Subtitled anime usually features translations that are more accurate to the original dialogue and they're easier to produce so you can stay on top of shows that are being released. But they can be distracting and take your focus away from the action because you're reading a book the entire time. I mean, I can't handle that. Even when I'm watching an American show, like if the subtitles are on, I just miss everything because I just end up watching the words go by. And on the... <laughs> Bro, is he just admitting that he can't read? <laughs> He's just saying he can't read? <laughs> Extra skill chat of spamming skill <laughs> chat of spamming skill issue. I will watch Cowboy People, but I wouldn't watch it. Not my genre. I think it's like one of those things that you gotta have watched it at one point from what I've heard. You know? side, English voice actors dub over the entire episode so you can really fully enjoy what you're watching. And you don't have to look away for a minute and uh, fear that you're gonna be missing pivotal Skin exposition issue. In, the, in, the, in the words on the screen. However, most American voice actors record their lines separately in different recording booths. Whereas Japanese voice actors often record in the same room, which means that the original actors tend to give more cohesive, emotionally resonant performances. Compared yeah, uh, Japanese fucking voice acting they're like they're also they're not just like reading out their lines right they're actually fully acting they have passion behind their craft well a lot of english ones are just like oh yeah cool just another job you know the English voice acting, which I think we can all agree has a, an off vibe to it. However, I do want to note that I feel like the people who prefer sub over dub is for one very specific reason. And that reason is when you hear the Japanese dialogue in English, you realize how fucking unbelievably corny the dialogue is. I'm going to talk about Attack on Titan once again because it's the only anime I've ever seen. But Don't you dare insult Attack on Titan. I swear to God, Big Tug. I swear to fracking God, do not insult the Attack on Titan! There's this scene where they're all in a castle and they're fighting a, a, a Titan and a girl mm -hmm. does something cool and Reiner looks at her and under his breath he goes, <laughs> Marry me. He did- That was his thought, he didn't say that. He, he, he hurt himself and Historia was like bandaging his arm and he just thought, gotta marry her. Good pause frame. <laughs> like, he was thinking it. He didn't say marry me. He was thinking it like, gonna marry her. Like, what the fuck is that? I understand it's probably a translation thing, but that was so out of left field, it took me out of the entire scene. The main main issue, the main barrier to entering anime that I have is the anime noises. <sighs> what is that? Why are they all making oh, those weird noises? Like, dude, it's like, huh? Mm hmm. Mm, mm, mm. It's because the Japanese speak like that. They're like, so, so, mo, ho. Every time they swing their sword, every time they make eye contact with their crush, like, they ah! a little. <gasps> oh, oh. It gives an emotion! What do you want? It gives a more emotion and more immersion! Bitch, do you not speak? You don't like sounds? What the fuck is that? I mean, it makes sense when fucking Link from Legend of Zelda is doing it. He doesn't talk, so he has to communicate through grunts. But why are these anime characters constantly making lobotomy-esque sounds with their mouths? It is, it is confusing and distracting from what I'm trying to watch. And finally, for the last point in this video, I wanted to discuss the fact that anime is addictive. I've watched... Yes. Some pretty important people in my life to anime. Take, for example, my best friend, my soulmate, my roommate for eight years, Connor Whitman. Connor was an A-plus mm. athlete all throughout high school, a strong athlete and a straight arrow mm -hmm. until I showed him what alcohol and weed was. He had such a bright future ahead of him until he discovered anime. The path anime takes to destroy your life is eerily similar to how hard drugs takes over your world. First, you start oh, with boy. an entry-level drug, like Cowboy Bebop or Death Note. Sure, there's definitely sure. some strange cultural differences, but the plot is simple enough and the characters are engaging so you enjoy the show then once you finish that yeah. one you might as well look around at the other animes because th that seems to be a pretty enjoyable anything is addictive what's the point yeah start watching that one that's true anime is addictive yeah around at the other animes because th that seems to be a chainsaw man is actually good as much as it seems like holy bait at the start right now season one is just a setup for what's to come one piece is one piece man one piece is go to bleach oh god damn Oh boy. I think I have a love hate relationship with Bleach. I'm watching it. I'm up to date with Bleach, by the way, like, anime wise. Skipped all the fucking fillers because fuck that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Pretty enjoyable format of media. Then you start watching that one. 
And that's Which manga was so much better? I believe that. Once. Now you're watching two. Now you're watching three at once. You start missing out on American media because you don't have time in your schedule. There's no time slots open. It's all anime. Yeah, but like the anime media is better than <laughs> the Western one anyway, so. So. Anime focus. Then you're watching eight animes at once. Then you're buying merch. Then you're getting a fucking body pillow at a convention. Then you're reading pirated mangas on the internet because you're, you don't want to wait for the next episode to come out, so you just read the fucking book it's based off of. Then you're cosplaying. Then you're jerking off to some weird shit. Then you're isolating yourself from the conventional means of a civilized society, and, and you lose your, your way. I miss Connor so much. He's gone. <laughs> In the throes of anime addiction, I've lost one of my best friends. I'm gonna play the finals with him tonight, probably, but it's not gonna be him. It's gonna be a shell of what anime has left for me. A fucking weeb. Fucking weebs. And for that reason, and all the other reasons I've given in this video, I'm out on anime. It's not worth it. Who knows? One day I might get over my childish fear of being bullied for enjoying an anime show. Maybe I'll sit down with a bucket of popcorn, turn on a- He forgot the uh, final stage. He forgot the final stage. Becoming the anime. <laughs> BECOMING THE ANIME! BECOMING THE ANIME! <laughs> My addiction was so strong, Goku wanted to fight it! <laughs> Place of life anime like Shiko Noko 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 Kosh Tan Tan Shiko Noko 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 Kosh Tan Tan Fucking Bren wrote it. <laughs> myself. That is until one of the Japanese anime schoolgirls walks in wearing a bikini and then my mom walks in the room and it fucking ruins everything once again. Like, comment, and subscribe. New videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hey, Attack on Titan people, thank you for stretching out that show for so long where I didn't give a fuck about the ending at that point. Fuck. Skill issue. You release everything. You ruined it. I didn't care anymore. I didn't care. Skill issue. Hobbies. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> Skill issue, man. So I have a. <laughs> Oh, uh, I like this video. Very entertaining. Sounds like a skill issue, though. I applaud him. I applaud him that he straight up out here made himself say, I don't like anime. <laughs> you know what? That's respectable. 69 out of 40. It's pro 40. Shout out to his mom. Wait, did he say that? Didn't he say he's 37 or 27? Either or? Sounds like his mom is the problem, to be honest. Honestly, it might have been his mom. I live with my mom, Astash. <laughs> it's okay to not like anime. You are wrong, but it's okay to be wrong. <laughs> True! And on that note, we shall end it. Thanks for watching, YouTubes. <laughs>